This unboxing is sponsored by Movie Palette. More on them later. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Tardis and welcome to another Doctor Who Steelbook unboxing video. This is the final set of the 13th Doctor Jodie Whittaker range of Steelbooks. It is an Amazon exclusive, or it was an Amazon exclusive, I'm not sure if they sold out. I do know that as soon as this Steelbook was announced for pre-order, it immediately jumped up to the number one ranked best-selling in crime. So I'm not sure what that was about. But before we open this up, let's just remind ourselves on the other previous 13th Doctor Jodie Whittaker steelbooks. This is the first one. This was once again an Amazon exclusive. It's got the photo that was taken by Sean Dooley on location for the Ghost Monument. A very cool image. However, as you'll notice from the rest of the steelbooks, because the title is at the top here and it's not part of the cardboard sleeve, it's massively inconsistent, but you know, I'll get over it, but I think there's going to be a lot of people who really like uniformity with their collection and they're not going to like it one bit. So this had episodes 1 through 10 of series 11. It did not have the New Year's Day special. For whatever reason, that was bumped to the series 12 steelbook, which contained resolution and then all of series 12. And this is the gorgeous artwork from Sophie Cowdery here. You can see at the back as well, you've got the three companions, the fam here. Actually, let's take a look at the back of series 11 while I remember. Yeah, you've got the fam there as well, also in silhouette. So the uninitiated are probably wondering, where on earth is Revolution of the Daleks? Well, that got its own standalone Blu-ray release, and this is currently the only way to get this story in home media. It has not made it onto any of the box sets, it has not made it into any of the steelbooks, and because it's not even in the latest set that I have yet to unbox, it means that this does not have a steelbook release, so I might have to try and commission some artwork and get my own steelbook printed, because you are able to do that from some sellers on eBay and on Etsy. So put that to one side, and now you've got Series 13, Flux, which goes from the Halloween Apocalypse to the Vanquishers. It's the six episodes with all the commentaries and special features and such. Once again, gorgeous Sophie Cowdery artwork on the front as well. And then on the back, you've got John Bishop and Mandip Gill. So with those out of the way, let's go for our 2022 specials steelbook, which goes from Eve of the Daleks to Legend of the Sea Devils, and then The Power of the Doctor. Let's remove that bit of tape. Let's open this up. And... Bam! Once again, you've got some beautiful artwork from Sophie Cowdery. So you've got Doctor Who, the Series 13 specials, along with Series 13 here. So across these two steelbooks, you have got the entire 2021 and 2022 Doctor Who production block. Let's get rid of that cardboard there. And if you look at the back, we've got the sleeve here, which explains it's got Eve of the Daleks, Legend of the Sea Devils, The Power of the Doctor, and the special features at the Dalek Execution, The Sea Devils Return, Becoming Pirates, Audio Commentaries, The Power of the Doctor, Behind the Scenes, and Farewell, Jodie, and Mandip. I think most, if not all, of these are available on the BBC's YouTube channel, but hey, I'll just throw them on here as well, why not? The main exclusive for these sets will be the audio commentaries. And we've already had a bit of information come out on these commentaries from people who have watched this uh, ahead of time on Twitter. Uh, they said that in the commentary for The Power of the Doctor, they explained that the reason they had to separate the Doctor and Yaz in that series was that if one of them had to self-isolate because it was filmed during the pandemic, then it means that they wouldn't have to shut down the entirety of production. So if Jodie Whittaker had to self-isolate, it means that they could still film stuff with Yaz and could still film scenes with Dan and other main characters without having to completely disrupt filming because the fam caught COVID. So I look forward to going through all those audio commentaries and learning more, but I'm also looking forward to ruining the collector's value by getting rid of this plastic film. There we go. It's such a satisfying feeling. Also, I've seen you folks in the comment section saying that you get rid of the cardboard sleeves. Um, I, I, I vehemently disagree. I'm keeping these cardboard sleeves forever and for life. But for now, we will lose the cardboard sleeve so we can take a look at the back of the steelbook. And that is an awesome, like almost Drew Struzon inspired piece of artwork. I love it. You've got uh, the TARDIS, uh, the cracking TARDIS in Eve of the Daleks in the middle. And at the top, you've got Yasmin Khan. Then you've got Dan Lewis, a plasterer extraordinaire. You've got Sasha Dewan as the master. You've got a shad. You've got Stuart the sea devil. You've got Janet Fielding as Tegan. Then you've got a Dalek there. And then you've got Sophie Aldred as Ace in her jacket, wielding the baseball bat. So let's open this up. It looks beautiful. I love the rainbow inspired artwork. I honestly, I think I prefer this artwork more to the series 13 steelbook. I think that that's an awesome pose and an awesome photo, but the full body, the rainbow, although the way this, this one, the series 13 one just shines, uh, it's, it's tough, but I think that because this has got such a dynamic back cover, 
I think that this is some of Sophie Caldry's best artwork to date for this steelbook range, and the spine in the middle as well, the Series 13 specials. But before we open this thing up, we need to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Movie Palette. Now, Movie Palette is a company run by cinephiles, and it's very possible that you folks have already seen some of their artwork on the internet before, and that would make sense because they're hugely popular and they put together these incredible visual timelines of a movie's colour palette. I'd like to thank them so much for sponsoring this video, and they asked me, Mr. Tardis, what movie palette can we send you? And I really, really wanted to go for Terminator 2 Judgment Day, because that is one of, if not my actual favourite film. However, I thought if this is going to be on display, let's get a film that myself and my wife would really, really appreciate, that has a lot of sentimental value to us, and that is The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favourite animated films, I can recite it almost scene for scene, and it's great being able to see that visual representation of the movie on a brilliant canvas like this. Like, this is Jack's Lament, you can see just the yellow of the moon that dominates the frame. Towards later on at the end, when he's encountering Oogie Boogie and it all turns red, all beautifully chronicled in this 12 by 30 inch palette. I think it's such a unique decoration, it's a great conversation starter for when you've got company around, and like I said, this has got some sentimental value. This is mine and my wife's one of our favourite films. But maybe The Nightmare Before Christmas isn't for you. Well, fear not, because Movie Palette have hundreds, nay thousands of movies available on their website. You can go on their website and explore the IMDb Top 250, you can go from your indies to your mainstream, they've started doing TV shows as well, and best of all, if you can't find your movie, if for some reason in their massive catalogue, they don't have it, you can request it and they'll put together a palette for you. So all of you Whovians in the audience, yes, you can get a movie palette of Doctor Who and the Daleks. And the best part is, if you want a palette for yourself, or if you just happen to know somebody who's a massive fan of Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, you can get 15% off at Movie Palette by using the coupon code TARDIS15. That's TARDIS15 at checkout, and you can get 15% off your Movie Palette order. Is it Morbin time? With 15% off, you're damn right it is. Whether you want to see Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse in an entirely new way, or confirm that yes, Psycho is indeed black and white all the way through, check out Movie Palette. There's a link to their website in the description below and their social media, and that's the coupon code TARDIS15 to get 15% off at checkout. Thank you so much to Movie Palette for being today's sponsor, and back to the video. Okay, now let's take a look at the insides of this Series 13 Special Steelbook. I can see that the booklet has already bent a little bit in the middle, but anyway, it's just a booklet. Let's take a look in here. So we've got Doctor Who origin stories. We've got the Titan Comics range with the 13th Doctor and Missy. We've got the bundle set with Edge of Reality and the Lonely Assassins on video game consoles. These are getting physical releases. We've got the new Titan books. We've got the Fires of Pompeii and the Eaters of Light. We've got the Celestial Toy Maker on vinyl. Hmm, I wonder why they're releasing that all of a sudden. Uh, we've also got the BBC Audiobooks range. Uh, many of these you can actually get on Audible, so I've, um, I'm have i going to make sure to listen to some of these. The one I really recommend, though, here from this lot is at Childhood's End. Sophie Aldridge narrates this. She does a terrific job of it, and she does a great Jodie Whittaker impression. Then we've got Big Finish here, promoting the ranges with Sophie Aldridge and Janet Fielding. We've got The Worlds of Wonder, which is advertising its run in Edinburgh. I went to this when it came to Liverpool. Uh, I was there on the last Last weekend. I went there with Joel, poorly aged who from Twitter. Shout out to Joel, my man. Uh, yeah, this was really, really good. If you can see this in Edinburgh, I really recommend you do so. Doctor Who Magazine, the Doctor Who Dalek Awakens Escape Room, and Doctor Who Fortnite. Ooh, play now. Download Fortnite and enter this island code. So if you wanted to play it on Fortnite, there's the code. There we go. I'm going to hold this up for you folks to screenshot or, or to use. But you will be rebels. It says it is not sponsored, endorsed, or administered by Epic Games. Anyway, let's put this booklet away and let's take a look at the discs. So, we've got this Power of the Doctor disc, which has got the uh, main poster for the Power of the Doctor. Same there on the left of the steelbook. Unfortunately, though, it looks like the disc for Legend of the Sea Devils and Eve of the Daleks, it, it's blank. It, it's a black disc with the titles of the story on the top. So, like, you have the artwork here. Like, pick and choose one of them, or do a 50-50 split, something. Just, why is this just a black disc? You, the, the original RRP of this set was £40 before they dropped the price, and it's just a blank disc? Was the standalone release for Legend of the Sea Devils and Eve of the Daleks, was that disc blank too? What? 
Anyway, we've got the cool posters, we've got the cool artwork there, although it seems weird to not have the Daleks on the Eve of the Daleks poster, but I guess they're on the Power of the Doctor poster anyway. So yeah, you've kind of got the best of both worlds here. You've got the inside covers with the live action posters, and then you've got Sophie Cowdery's artwork on the outside. It's, it's the best of both. So yeah, let's put these discs back, and I will be going through them to see if there's anything exciting or brand new on the discs, and also being able to get high quality footage now uh, for my future videos which involve these stories. And now, with all of that said, with the exception of Revolution of the Daleks, I have all of the 13th Doctor's era on Steelbook. To select audio navigation, press enter now. In terms of what's on the discs, there's no real surprises. Your basic scene selection, audio navigation, audio description, subtitles. When it comes to the special features, everything on the discs is stuff that you can view on YouTube for free, except for the audio commentaries. For Eve of the Daleks, you've got a commentary from director Annette Laufer, Dalek voice Nicholas Briggs, and Adjani Salmon, who played Nick. For Legend of the Sea Devils, you've got an audio commentary from director Haula Wang, Craig Ells, who played Carvanista during Flux, but in this story plays the chief sea devil, and you've got Crystal Yu, who played Madame Ching, Pirate Queen. And for The Power of the Doctor, the commentary includes writer, showrunner Chris Chibnall, the 13th Doctor, Jodie Whittaker, and Mandip Gill, who played Yasmin Khan. Honestly, for all three commentaries, that's an ideal lineup of names. That's really good. Also, while talking of audio features, you've got to love the dry commentary for the audio description version of The Power of the Doctor. As the Master starts to disco dance, the chandelier transforms into a Gallifreyan cube device. The Doctor watches the Master disco dancing around. In the palace, a Dalek and a Cyberman look at one another, apparently bemused by the Master's antics. But yeah, it does feel pretty bare bones otherwise. No trailers for the specials, no Nathan Evans version of the Wellerman for the Legend of the Sea Devils. Join the Sea Devils and a pirate crew, they're causing trouble like in 72. No deleted scenes, no B-roll footage of the regeneration or anything. Personally, I was hoping for an extended cut of The Legend of the Sea Devils because it's such a short episode compared to the rest of the era. Also, the disc menu for The Power of the Doctor has a version of the poster, front and centre, but for the Daleks and the Sea Devil special disc, it's just the Doctor Who opening titles. Apart from the audio commentaries, it's bare bones, unfortunately. I feel like there should be more here. As for the future of the Doctor Who Steelbook range, the last non jodie Whittaker and non-classic Peter Cushing Dalek Steelbook release was actually Series 8, once again Sophie Caldry doing a terrific job here. That's a bit strange, I was thinking that they might do brand new versions or reissues of the Series 9 and Series 10 Steelbooks, because those are out of print, very rare and very expensive to get second hand, so I thought that they might get Sophie Caldry or some other artist to do a reissue of the rest of the Capaldi era, and maybe even give us Twice Upon a Time on Steelbook. Twice Upon a Time and Revolution of the Daleks, they're the only stories to not be on Steelbook. This was released about two years ago, like a year and a half ago. It's been a while like since the Series 8 uh, Steelbook was released, so it's a bit disappointing that we don't have any more brand new Doctor Who Steelbooks that are, you know, completely brand new. I just wish that they'd reissue Series 9 and Series 10 or something. So yeah, with all that being said, this is the complete Jodie Whittaker era on Steelbook, apart from Revolution of the Daleks. If I had to choose a least favourite from this set, it would probably have to be the uh, the Series 11 Steelbook. Not because that artwork is, is bad or anything, I think it's a beautiful photo, but it's not uniform with the rest of them. It's the only one to use a production still for the front, as opposed to the beautiful artwork for the rest of them. And also it has the banner on the top, which means it's it's not uniform with the rest of them, frustratingly. And also it has the least inspired back as well. It's just the three companions just silhouetted there, whereas the artwork for the rest of them for the back of the steelbox is much more dynamic. The companions are much more flatteringly and interestingly posed. So yeah, the Series 11 steelbook is my least favorite in terms of the aesthetic, even though out of these ranges, the best overall run of stories for me probably is series 11. So yeah, let me know what you folks think of the Jodie Whittaker era on Steelbook. Did you manage to collect these? Did you manage to get these on Amazon before they sold out? Are you going pre-owned? Or are you just not fussed about Steelbooks? Do you keep the cardboard sleeve? Or are you a monster? And let me know if there's anything Doctor Who related that you want released on Steelbook or to get its own dedicated release in the near future. For me, it's the 1996 TV movie, especially since the new documentary, Doctor Who Am I? In fact, yesterday, this showed up in the post, which I'm gonna very, very quickly open. I'm not gonna do a full-blown unboxing because it, uh, it is just a standard DVD, but the Doctor Who Am I documentary. 
This is a documentary from the writer of the TV movie, Matthew Jacobs, reflecting on his time making the movie and how it was derided at the time and how he's sort of been welcomed back into the fandom. I'm going to do a proper video, maybe a review of this in the near future, but yeah, having this and the 1996 TV movie in its own dedicated steelbook, that will be really cool. I know that there's some sort of an issue with the film print for the TV movie, like it's locked up in a 20th century Fox vault or was destroyed or is missing or something, so you can't get true high definition on it, but it still has a Blu-ray release. I'd just be happy with some awesome Sophie Cowdery artwork and a dedicated release for that film and this documentary. Bundle them up, pair them up, do a BFI screening where there's a double feature, have Matthew Jacob and Paul McGann and Eric Roberts show up and do a QA. and a That'd be so cool. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for watching this Steelbook unboxing. Be sure to hit that like button because it really, really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Doctor Who related videos, and I'll see you folks next time. Tag, you're it.